This 7th century painting, ordered by French monarch Louis XIV, has traveled more than 4,000 kilometers from Paris to Tehran. This is a very large painting, hard to move around. It's very heavy too. You have to be very careful when you handle it, so you have to do slow moves and be very cautious not to drop it. The masterpiece is the first painting art lovers will see when they visit the Louvre in Tehran, an exhibition at the National Museum of Iran that features more than 50 paintings and sculptures from the Louvre. The collection traces the history of the Louvre from its founding in 1793 to its most recent acquisitions. It includes Greek, Roman and Persian artifacts from at least eight different sections of the museum. This exhibition may seem surprising at first glance because it's not an exhibit on a civilization. The timeline covered by this exhibition is extremely vast. We wanted to bring a little Louvre to Iranians. That's why the choice of pieces is so diverse. The Louvre in Tehran is the first ever large-scale exhibition in Iran by a major Western museum and the result of a cultural agreement signed in 2016 between France and Iran. For the director of the National Museum of Iran, the exhibition illustrates how relations between the two countries have improved since the 2015 nuclear agreement. We are very happy that these two museums are coming together. Many thought the Louvre will never come to Tehran, and this would never be possible. But we're very happy that the current situation made this possible, and both museums worked hard to bring this exhibition to Tehran. The exhibition opens to the public this week and runs through the first week of June.